Hello and welcome. You're watching TVC News. I am Uguchi Ulibo. A suspect on Monday staged what can best be described as drama at the headquarters of the secret police. The lady, Amina Mohammed, also named Amina Vida, was meant to be paraded before journalists for allegedly using the office of the wife of the president to commit fraud. At first, she refused to come before the cameras, but when she eventually did, things took a different turn. It's fun, Essie and Hasman. It was meant to be a news conference where a suspected imposter was meant to be paraded before the press. The importance of this invitation is to unveil the identity of a suspect that had an unauthorized access to the Asorok presidential villa and used the name and office of the First Lady to engage in a fraudulent act. The spokesman of the Department of State Services had barely begun his speech when the suspects began shouting. On sighting the cameras, the drama increased. You will not do that to me. 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 Calm was later restored. And the DSS spokesman began his speech all over. Amina Mohammed, also known as Josina Oloha, Amina Villa, had on the 22nd November 2017 paraded herself as the first lady of Kogi State. She used the false identity to evade protocol and scrutiny, thus gaining unauthorized access into the presidential villa and particularly the residence of the first lady and wife of the president. Hadja Aisha Buhari. She took advantage of the fact that personalities as first ladies, ministers, and certain categories of uh, officials are not taken through rigorous protocol and security checks at the villa or at the villa checks. The media event ended abruptly with journalists mumbling several questions among themselves. Sifon Asian, TVC News, Abuja.